Okay, you know what's one of the most annoying things ever? When you wake up and you haven't had enough sleep or you didn't even fall asleep in the first place, but you absolutely have to get out of bed. Maybe you have work, maybe you have an appointment, maybe you just have to get up for whatever reason and you can't stay in bed even though you really want to, you feel like a complete zombie. Isn't that just the worst? I actually had that this morning. So basically, long story short, I'm trying to fix my sleep pattern at the minute. My sleep pattern deteriorates all of the time. Um, I find myself going to bed later and later each night and it just repeats on a cycle. I find it very, very, very difficult to go to bed any earlier than the night before. Like even five minutes earlier than the night before, I probably won't fall asleep. Whereas it's very easy for me to go to bed, say, you know, 20, 30 minutes later than the night before. And so over time, my sleep pattern gets to the point where I just wake up later and later. Now, what I do to fix that is I just kind of go along with it. I say, OK, well, if I can fall asleep later each day, then let's go to bed three hours later and then three hours later than that until I'm back at a normal sleep time. Thankfully, being self-employed, I have the luxury to be able to do that uh, without, you know, having to go to sleep in the middle of the workday since I can just reschedule my work for other hours. So anyway, I got to the point where a couple of nights ago, I went to bed at a relatively normal time and I got up a little bit later than I wanted to. You know, I got up at like 10 a.m. when I prefer to get up somewhere between 4 and 6 a.m. Uh, I went to bed early enough, but I got up a bit too late. So last night I went to bed early again and the problem was I couldn't fall asleep. I just couldn't. I don't know what it was. I just wasn't tired enough to fall asleep or, well, I was tired, but my mind wouldn't really shut off. And so I laid there tossing and turning a bit. And I thought about, you know, maybe taking a supplement or maybe meditating or something, but I just didn't want to get out of bed at that point. Eventually I fell asleep, but I kept waking up over and over again. And then at half four in the morning, my dogs just went mental, started barking like crazy, as they often do in the morning when they want attention. And so I laid there and I thought, oh, maybe they'll go back to sleep. Maybe I can just sleep a bit longer. But they didn't. They kept barking. So I had to go down and sit with them. And when I got up out of bed, I was just exhausted, feeling like a complete zombie. But looking back, it's now actually the evening. In fact, I'm about to go to bed very, very shortly, like right after recording this video, actually. And I've actually been quite productive and had a good day today. And it was because I took some specific measures. So the first thing that I actually did after waking up and after going and checking on the dogs and so on was to actually clean up my workspace. Basically, I dusted off any dust in the room. Once it was a little bit later and other people were awake, then I actually vacuumed as well. I gave my chair a quick clean because my chair tends to get quite dusty underneath since it's a mesh chair. I took down yesterday's coffee mug and got me a new one. Why did I do all of that first thing when I was waking up, when I was feeling really awful? Why didn't I just, you know, sit down and, you know, collect myself for a few minutes? Well, I use a phrase on this channel a lot, and that is the phrase, an object in motion stays in motion, an object at rest stays at rest. Now, this is one of Newton's laws, and it's not meant to apply to, you know, humans and our day-to-day -day energy but it really does work as a phrase for describing our day-to-day -day energy. When you are actively doing things, when you're actively being productive, it is pretty easy to stay productive and keep doing things. When you're sitting around doing nothing, it is very, very hard to get up and switch to being productive. So when you know that you have very little energy because you did not get enough sleep last night, you are in full zombie mode, you have to take advantage of the fact that you've still got some energy whatsoever and put it to use right away. And I like to start with cleaning my workspace because when your workspace is nice and clean, it feels nice to be there. And you want to feel nice when you're at your place where you're going to be productive, where you're going to be working through the day. Otherwise, how are you going to get any work done? It's also a nice activity because it's easy enough that you can do it even with low energy, but hard enough that it gets you out of that feeling of being a zombie and not being able to do anything. Like you feel like you've accomplished a little something at the start of the day. The next thing that I did after that was I made myself some coffee. Caffeine is really, really great when you're tired. Caffeine is, after all, a stimulant and it helps with that feeling. So if you're feeling really tired, don't be afraid to have a little bit of coffee. One thing I will caution, though, is to avoid having too much. And there is one very, very simple reason for this. What happens when you drink too much coffee when you're tired? Well, Something that I did today, during the middle of the day, was I got too tired and I had a nap for about an hour and an hour and a half. Something that happened 
quite recently on a day when I was also too tired was I went to take a nap in the middle of the day because I was completely exhausted, but I couldn't. I couldn't fall asleep, and that was because I drank too much coffee. The thing is, past a certain point, coffee won't help with your energy. You know, having a coffee or a couple of cups of coffee, maybe even three cups of coffee, will improve your energy levels, especially if you're tired. But it's not going to make you feel full of energy if you're really, really tired. It's not going to make you feel 100% better. And you can't just keep drinking more and more and more and get more and more energy out of it. Past a certain point, it's just not going to do much for you, but it's just going to keep you awake. So if you get to the point where it's not helping you enough and you need to get some sleep, you're kind of screwed because now you can't fall asleep. So have a little caffeine, have a little coffee, but don't indulge in too much of it. One thing you can do is also combine your coffee with a little bit of L-theanine, as that can reduce some of the negatives of caffeine and also help you with that getting to sleep in the middle of the day if you do need a nap. Speaking of naps, give yourself permission to take a nap later in the day. It doesn't matter when it is, but just say to yourself, hey, later on, if I'm feeling too tired to go through the day, I will allow myself a little nap, maybe a 10 minute nap, maybe an hour nap, maybe even a two hour nap. But at some point during the day, you're allowed to have one. Why do you do this? Well, it's really, really simple because when you're feeling really down, when you're feeling really like a zombie, you've got no energy, you haven't slept, then you're very, very demotivated. And thinking about the entire day that you have to get through, it's just gonna make you feel even worse and it's gonna be really hard to get started. If you tell yourself though, hey, look, later on I can take a nap. Not now, but later on I can take a nap. Then you're not so worried because instead of having to get through a 16 hour day, you only have to get through, say, the next four hours, which is a lot more manageable. And then if you find after those four hours are up that you no longer want the nap, well, doesn't matter, it helped you out to get through those four hours. And if you do want the nap, then at that point you've probably already earned it because you probably already got some work done. Last but not least, start on your day-to-day tasks right away. So make your morning coffee or whatever, maybe have a shower, but then after that, get to work right away. You really want to get started on working right away because as I said before, an object in motion stays in motion and an object at rest stays at rest. If the first thing that you do is sit down and read the paper or go through your emails or look at your phone and scroll Facebook, then that's just setting you up to do that all day because you're going to zone out completely, especially when you're this tired. Because just think about how easy it is for you to zone out when you're on Facebook right now. Like if you opened up Facebook in the middle of this video, Think about how long you might get distracted and end up scrolling through your feed. And you might not even be tired right now. But imagine if you're completely exhausted, full zombie mode, you really don't want to do anything and you get sucked into an activity like that. Well, then that's what you're going to do all day long. So don't allow yourself to do that. Start being productive right away. Get to your work, start writing a to-do list and start getting things done. These have been my tips for dealing with feeling really, really tired in the morning. And one thing I can suggest to you if you need something to do today to be productive is to invest some time and energy in yourself by taking my course Hard is the New Easy. You can find out more about exactly what this course offers if you check out the link in the top right hand corner or down in the description below. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel and enable notifications if you want to stay up to date with my content that I put out here. If you want to see my exclusive content that's for patrons only then head on over to my Patreon page. And if you want to keep watching, pick one of the videos on screen, go watch that and I'll see you soon. Take care.